Yo guys, this is Sugi and today I'll be demonstrating you a few really cool tricks with Tress you can pull off pretty easily if you practice them a couple of times. And hopefully enjoy this video. One of the coolest Tress tricks is called Double Hook. So what you do, you go to normal, hopefully not ranked, with Tress and Blitzcrank. And Blitzcrank will hook an enemy champion and before the enemy champion reaches Blitzcrank, you have to have Lantern under Blitzcrank and Blitzcrank will pick the lander before the enemy champion reaches him and this will move the enemy champion to double the distance to Trash and Blitzcrank. Note that it cannot work through over two walls, only one wall or in a very open space like the river or the lane. The next tricks involve teleport, so the first one being you can run teleport with Trash. You can throw the lantern to Baron Pit or Dragon Pit or over a cliff and teleport it to yourself. The second one is pretty much throwing the lantern on of similar cases, but letting your allied teleport to the lantern. This is in case you don't have wards or you don't have minions to teleport to. This is a pretty cool trick also. The third one is an alteration of the second one where you're able to actually walk away from the lantern distance and this will drag the lantern away, but it doesn't stop the teleport, but it will remove the vision from the area teleported, because teleport doesn't give vision itself. Next up I'm going to talk about the wind-up animations, and those who don't know, Tress has a small wind-up animation on his Q, but you can actually remove this by using E first and then Q, or while you Q you use E, and this will make go the animation a bit faster, and hence you kind of hook faster too. So this is a really neat trick, and by increasing your attack speed this will also reduce the wind-up animation of Trash. One of my personal favorites is the Flay Flip, and this enables you to send out the enemy champions with your Flay from river to the cliff or from the cliff to the river. This works only on this position. I tried it on the parent bit area, but it didn't seem to work. This is a really cool neat trick, but it requires the exact same positions or very near to those positions. Then we have an alternative trash lantern picking, and this is pretty much made for to deny people, well, enemy champions throwing wards to the lantern so you can't pick it up from the pit or just moving to the land top of the lantern and you can't pick it. By throwing it to the cliff this will ensure you they will not block the lantern. And it's a pretty cool trick but it's not, it's kind of hard to pull off though so you have to know the places where to actually throw it and you need some semi practice to it. This is one of the most known trash tricks and this is the jump cancel so what you're able to do is you're able to cancel the jump animations before they reach to the final destination. You can do this with Tristana, to Kha'Zix, to Corki, to VQ before it launches. Uh, you cannot stop V Ultimate or Shenton as far as I'm concerned and I don't think you can cancel Trindemir E. There's certain things you can't cancel with it but most of the stuff you should be able to. Last but not least is the Trash Hurricane build and this enables you to put the main target with the maximum flay damage but the other two targets will get the minimum damage by using your auto attacks. Thanks for watching my video, hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something new about the Trash. Consider subscribing to my channel, sharing and liking this video is also great and see you guys later on the next video.